What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another episode of the new PS4 Jailbreak tutorial series. So in this episode, I'm going to be covering the new Gold Hen version 2.2 update uh, that adds a new PS4 cheat menu uh, into Gold Hen, which is a really, really cool addition that's been added, especially since it's going to make things a lot easier to load cheats compared to, you know, using the PS4 trainer with WebRTE, which wasn't the most stable payload. So yeah, this is really awesome. So before we get into this, if I sound a little bit weird in this video, um, or if there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video, it's because I currently have COVID right now and I've been coughing like crazy and my voice has kind of gone a bit odd. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to cover this anyway because it's a pretty pretty awesome thing that, uh, that has been added. So firstly, if we have a look at the Gold Hen release, you can see here it says they've added a cheat menu, which is currently in the experimental phase, I guess you could say. So it was coded by Sistro and uh, Shinigami and CTN123 who worked on this. And there are a few issues with it right now. Supposedly it supports uh, .shn and JSON files. JSON files are the format that you have for the PS4 trainer, whereas SHN files, typically certain debug software will allow you to kind of compile your own list of cheats and then export them as an SHN file. So supposedly it supports that as well. And there are apparently some known issues with cheats that use master codes. So any master code cheats may not work right right now with the menu. But besides that, everything else seems to be up and running pretty well. So, so anyway, what I've done is I've basically taken all the cheats from the PS4 trainer from I think I, I used Caro's PS4 trainer and took all the cheats from that, all of the JSON files and put them into a zip file that I'll have linked down in the video description. So all you have to do download that zip file and you'll have access to all of the cheats. Now one of the things that's not supported right now are multiple trainers for the same game version. So if we have a look for Resident Evil 3 for example, you can see here we've got two trainers for the same game and the same game version. So CUSA 14168 for version 1.03 and when I select them you can see that they are slightly different. This one was uploaded by a different person to uh, this one right here. So that's not going to work on Gold Hen. Gold Hen will just use the first one it comes across. It will not allow you to select between different trainers for the same game and game version. So it will just use the first one it comes across and that's it. Ho apparently that is something that will be looked at in future versions. So those are a couple of issues that um, we currently have with the, with the Gold Hen trainer. But besides that, it works phenomenally well. So let's get into how to actually set this up. So if we switch back over to our PS4 real quick, what we're going to do is head on to our internet browser. And obviously you're going to want to go to your exploit host, whichever one you're using. If Gold Hen version 2.2 is not showing up yet uh, in your host, depending on which one you're using, then make sure that you clear your cache and your website data. So clear your browsing data and also clear your... Uh, cookies and your website data. The website data is the most important one to clear because that will, uh, you know, force the page to recache all of the payloads and that should get you your Gold Hen version 2.2 showing up. Obviously, if you're watching this in the future and there's an even newer version of Gold Hen available, like 2.2.1 or something, then go ahead and load that one up instead. And once you have Gold Hen running, you can then go ahead and head to the settings go to Gold Hen settings and enable the FTP server. So when you enable the FTP server, the, it will show you your IP address and port number. There we go. And then we're going to switch on over to our computer real quick. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and load up an FTP client like FileZilla. And from FileZilla, we're just going to type in our PS4's IP address into the host box, uh, which is 124, I believe. And then the port number, which is 2121, quick connect to connect to your PS4. So once we're on the PS4, we're then going to head into the data folder, then go into the gold hen folder, and then the cheats folder, which is a new folder that's been added. Then you've got your JSON file for all your JSON cheats from the web trainer, and then your SHN folder for any .shn cheats that you have. So we're going to go into the JSON folder. Then all you have to do is take the PS4 trainer zip file, right here and obviously extract that to your desktop and as you can see this has all of the different json files for all the different cheats 
And all you're going to want to do is just hold control and press A on the keyboard to highlight all of those and then just drag and drop them all into the gold hen cheats JSON folder. So just drag and drop them in. That's 581 JSON files right there. And you can see them all being added right here. Okay, so we've got the, all of those files copied over. Because we're copying a lot of files and PS4 FTP is a bit weird sometimes, sometimes it can get stuck trying to transfer one of the files and it just takes a while or you have to refresh or copy them in again because, I don't know, there's, there's definitely some weird issues with PS4 FTP, but hopefully you can get them all copied over there, no problem. So once we've done that, everything should be ready to go. So all we have to do is just load up a game that we have added a cheat for. And of course, as I showed before, Resident Evil um, 3, that version CUSA 14168 on version 1.03, that's the game we'll pick. So we because you can just check, right? You can just go to the PS4 trainer and check if the game is in there and what game version is supported. And because you copied all the files from the trainer in, then that it should be supported on Gold Hen as well. So if we switch back over to our PS4 now, all we have to do is load up the game that we want to apply some cheats for. So Resident Evil 3. Okay, so here we are loaded up into the game. You can see my ammo going down when I fire, so we don't have any cheats enabled right now. So if we just hit the PS button to exit out, of course, I'm on the same game version that's supported by the trainer. So the title ID of your game has to match the title ID of the trainer. And of course, if you hit options, you can see if I go to information, we're on version 1.03, which was the correct version for the trainer. So the game version has to match and the title ID version has to match. But if you hit the options button, you'll also notice there's a gold hen cheat menu option at the top. Now, no matter what game you run, this option should appear uh, when the game is running, not when the game is not running, but when the game is running, it will show up in here and you can select it. If there is a cheat available for the game, then when you select this option, you can see all of the cheat options now show up right here. If there isn't a cheat available, it will just say there are no cheats available. But as you can see, this loads the same trainer that we had on the uh, PS4 web trainer. The uh, person's credits are there at the bottom. You've got the game title, the game uh, version that's supported, the title ID version that's supported at the top. And then you have all of the different cheat codes that you can enable right here. So we'll do, you know, max health. So infinite health, we'll do one hit kill. We'll do infinite ammo and we'll do 20 inventory slots. So we'll enable all of those and then we can just go back into the game. Now that's actually the long way of enabling the cheats. So you can see they're all they're all enabled right here. We've got, you know, infinite ammo. Ammo's not going down. That zombie died in one hit. There's another one over here. Just hit him once. And there we go. He goes down. And you can see we have our 20 inventory slots here as well. So that's all working too. So we've got all of our cheats, but that's the long way of enabling the cheats. The quick way is to just hold down the share button. So if you hold down the share button on your controller, it will take you straight there to the cheat menu where you can enable and disable your cheats. So we'll now disable max health, we'll disable easy kill, uh, infinite ammo clip, 20 inventory slots. I'm not sure if you can turn that off or if it just, if it stays on all the time. But anyway, once you've enabled or disabled your cheats, when you're using the share button method of opening it, you can just press circle and it will take you straight back into the game. So this is a much faster way of quickly switching between your cheat menu and back to the game, basically instantaneously. And you can see the ammo is now going down, although I don't know if... No, okay, I still have the 20 inventory slots. That's just a one-time enabled thing, and then it stays on all the time. So... Yeah, anyway, that is basically it, guys. That's how you get your that's how you get your cheats now enabled through Gold Hen. And this really does make a difference. You can still use the share option. If you just tap share, if you actually want to use the normal share feature, you just tap share, you get the normal share options. It's only when you hold down share that it will then take you to the cheat menu instead to enable and disable your cheats. So yeah, I'm really kind of surprised about this just coming out of nowhere, it seems from Sistro, especially since it wasn't that long ago since uh, Sistro launched Gold Hen version 2.1 and 2.1.1. So yeah, it's pretty crazy that he's managed to, you know, implement this so quickly, along with the help with the other developers he had working on this. So yeah, pretty awesome stuff. I think this is a much better way of loading cheats than 
using the web browser with the WebRTE payload because, again, the WebRTE payload just wasn't very stable. Uh, you know, if you went into the settings and then exited out of the settings, or if you went into sleep mode and then recovered from sleep, then the WebRTE payload would stop working and you'd have to reboot the PS4, re-jailbreak it, and load WebRTE again. And yeah, it just wasn't super convenient. Whereas having this built in, built in basically to Gold Hen, which is a payload you pretty much run every time on your PS4 anyway, then it's just a much better way of loading cheats. It's much more stable. And you can also just switch back and forth between the game and the cheats much faster than having to keep going back into the web browser and and loading up the web browser to enable and disable cheats. So yeah, really, really impressed by by what uh, Sistro and the, the rest of the team have been able to do here. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. I hope my voice wasn't too bad in this video. I can't really tell until I start editing this, but uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it didn't turn out too badly. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.